I am going to solve four problems on one-step equations. The objective is to isolate the variable, which is also known as the unknown, by using inverse operations. So let's take a look at our first problem. My first problem states x plus 5 equals 7. Again, my objective, which is my goal, is to isolate my variable. In order to isolate my variable, I am going to use inverse operations to get rid of the positive 5. In other words, I am going to do the opposite of adding 5. The opposite of adding 5 is subtracting 5. Now think of a balance beam. Whatever we do on one side of the equation, we need to do on the other side of the equation. So I am also going to subtract 5. Positive 5 and negative 5 cancel. 7 minus 5 will give me 2. Now I'm in, I am going to bring down my x. I'm going to bring down the equals. And I am going to bring down 2. Now here I have solved for my variable x equals 2. I always ask students to check their work to make sure that they correctly solved the equation. So I will take x equals 2 and I am going to plug in for x. So this equation becomes 2 plus 5 equals 7. If the statement is true, then that means that my equation that I solved for x equals 2 is correct. 2 plus 5 is 7. Bring down the equals. Bring down 7. This is a true statement. Therefore, x equals 2 is correct. Now let's look at another type of one-step equations. x minus 4 equals 9. Just like you saw, I am going to do the opposite of subtracting 4, which is adding 4. Whatever I do to one side, I will do to the other side. Negative 4 and positive 4 cancel because they equal 0. I'm going to bring down my x, bring down my equals. 9 plus 4 will give me 13. I will check my answer. I will take 13. I will plug it in for x. This becomes 13 minus 4 equals 9. 13 minus 4 is 9. Bring down equals. Bring down the 9. 9 equals 9 is a true statement. That is correct. Another type of one-step equations we will see, for example, is a multiplication where this is three times, there's an invisible multiplication sign, three times x equals 9. As seen in the previous problems, the opposite of multiplication is division. So I am going to divide both sides by my coefficient. My coefficient is the number in front of the variable, which is 3. So divide by 3, divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 we know is 1. So I'm left with x equals 9 divided by 3 is 3. Again, I will check my work. x equals 3. So in the original equation, it was 3 times x. I'm going to plug in 3 inside parentheses equals 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Bring down the equals and bring down the 9. 9 equals 9 is a true statement. Therefore, my answer is correct. Last problem that we are going to see for one-step equations is x divided by 5 equals 2. X divide, when I read the problem out, it says x divided by 5. Opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator because I want to get rid of the denominator. This is the same thing as 1 fifth. The reciprocal is 5, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is just 1. 
So I'm left with x equals 2 times 5 is 10. I will check my work. x divided by 5, x was 10, so I'm going to put 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Well, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Bring the equals, and I have 2. That is a correct statement, therefore it is correct. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this helped. I also have a quiz, so please make sure that uh, you take the quiz and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.